What's up guys? Today we are watching episode 2 of The Last of Us. So, last episode was pretty emotional. I mean, we met Joel, his daughter, and the uncle. And 30 minutes into the show, his daughter died. Pretty pissed off about it. But after that, there was like a big ass flash forward to like 20 years later. Joel's now with someone new. And he's actually looking for his brother now. And in order to get help to like look for his brother he agreed to bring this girl ellie to somewhere i forgot where but they're like on their way there now basically which is like where the episode ended they're still heading that way and i'm interested to see more and like what else is going to happen with this shit so i guess let's get into the episode What, they've been looking for this lady? Maaf, Pak. Apakah saya ada berbuat suatu kesalahan? Tidak. Tentu saja tidak. So then what does she do? Like, why, why are you taking her? Kami butuh bantuan Bu Ratna untuk meneliti spesimen yang telah kami persiapkan. Ibu, mungkin maaf. Ah, pendapat Bu Ratna yang saya butuh. Are they trying to see if they made, like, a cure for, like, the disease for those people, I guess you could say? Tapi kenapa menggunakan klorazol untuk mempersiapkan slide? Kami gunakan sebagai persiapan pengambilan sampel dari tubuh manusia, Bu Ratna. So it's not typically normal for it to be in a human? Pada manusia. So it... So I guess that's actually what's in the humans, I guess, like that are affected. She got bitten. So the thing is still like growing and like living in her even though she's dead. Mereka kemudian mengunci perempuan itu di kamar mandi sampai kemudian polisi datang. Perempuan itu mencoba menyerang dan terpaksa harus ditembak. So this is around the time whenever the virus first started. So this is like flashback to around 2003. I'm guessing. Buratna, kami membawa ibu Ratna kemari untuk membantu kami untuk mencegah penyebaran. Kami butuh vaksin. Y'all aren't really gonna get one, since it's already still a thing in the future. Jadi apa yang harus kami lakukan? There's not much you can do. So she wants to kill the people who they think have it so it doesn't spread that quickly. See, I know her name is Ellie because someone told me in the comments in the last episode, but I was so sure that they called her Veronica, so I continued to call her Veronica. God damn, why do you fucking watch her like that? Yeah, it's not getting any worse, is it? So then how is she not infected? Like, maybe they were working on some kind of cure or something? How? 
They'd make me count to ten and hold out my hand and then keep it steady. But you know, I think what really impressed them was the fact that I didn't turn into a fucking monster. But it's like, how though? How did you not turn? Are you immune? Because I mean, yeah, it's been 20 years, but maybe some people are now becoming immune. I don't know. I'm guessing at this point. I'm going to notice her arm. I'm going to scan her. Then they'll kill her. Well, better them than us. You need to stop talking about this kid like she's got some kind of life in front of her. I mean, obviously she does if she's not turned. Like, because I'm pretty sure she would have turned by now since she was bitten, but she's not. We're doing this for us because apparently you're worth something. But we don't know what you're worth if we don't know what we have. So answer my question. Was it so smart to tell her that, though? Because maybe she just wouldn't want to tell you now. With doctors. They're working on a cure. Mm -hmm. I've heard this before. And whatever happened to me is it's the, the key, key to, to finding, finding the vaccine. That's what this is. Yeah, so they were testing a cure on her. So apparently it worked. If she so much as twitches. <laughs> don't. <laughs> Can I have a gun? Absolutely no. not. Okay, Jesus, fine. I'll just throw a fucking sandwich at them. <laughs> I mean, she is kind of right. Maybe she needs some kind of weapon. Maybe not a gun, but doesn't she also have her knife? Whoa. Yeah, looks different in the daylight, huh? Even though it kind of looks horrible, it also looks pretty cool. It's like a fucked up moon. Is this where they bombed? Yeah. They hit most of the big cities like this. They had to slow the spread somehow. So they actually did bomb the places. I wanted to see what it was like. Didn't think there was going to be anything in there, and then one just came at me out of nowhere. Thought I got away, but... But I mean, look at you now. They tested a cure on you, and you seem to be fine. Unless you're gonna end up turning later in the future. Everyone said the open city was crazy. Like swarms of infected running around everywhere. Not exactly like that. You know, people like to tell stories. So there aren't super infected that explode fungus spores on you? Don't tell me they're going to have to go save someone right now. Are they good enough people to go do that? You gotta be kidding me! So we're going to be swimming across? Wait, are we going in there? Yeah, we gotta get to the stairwell on the other side. I didn't, I didn't know how to swim. Seriously? I mean, you could you could stand up in it. Yes, ma'am. Would you like me to take your luggage? Yes, ma'am. Right away, ma'am. You're I'm... a weird kid. You're a weird kid. Oh, fuck! I was about to say, she just has an imagination. Well, when the fuck did that happen? So are they going to have to go back and go the long way? I mean, like the short way, but almost die? The awkward silence as they wait. Nice knife. That's, that's a nice thing you've said since the first time you met her. So, uh, you two, like, uh... Pass. How'd you end up in Boston? Pass. No more questions about me. 
It's just small talk, dude. Gotta do something while you wait. Well, some last about a month or two. But there's others been walking around about 20 years. God damn. Tess went around. Um, that's a lot of them. Your cordyceps in one place, and you can wake a dozen infected from somewhere else. Now they know where you are, now they come. That is definitely, especially being able to do that from so far away, that is terrifying. No. What do we do then? Short way? That's what I was saying. It's bone dry. It could mean they're all finally dead in there. That's how you can tell if they're dead. I have a spare hand. Congratulations. She can't exactly do anything with a knife because, I mean, if they get that close, then she could be fucked, you know? Good opinion. I don't hear it. Who would you hear? Y'all are talking. She wasn't even talking that loud. Well, you gotta hope that it doesn't collapse in on you. That was louder than I thought it would be. Well, there's no getting out for y'all. I don't know about you, but if I hear that, I'm bolting. Why the fuck are you standing there? Keep going so you don't have to face that bitch. <laughs> don't tell me y'all are surrounded both ways. See, they're fucked if they try and kill it because then that's going to make a lot of noise, which may attract the other ones that are around. <laughs> I'm so surprised, like, that shit was growing on its... I thought that they kept, like, their regular face. It changed their face completely. So it's like, do they even have eyes or do they just go based on like their hearing? Because it looked like they looked at them, so I'm assuming they might still have their sight. Why take the bullets out unless you get like a different kind of bullet? He's gonna be by your shoulders, sure. Uh. 
So obviously they don't have sight because that bitch would have been seeing that light. So it is basically on hearing, which is why he's been saying to be quiet. Okay. That was your fault, Joe, Joel, you know? Imagine having that shit that close to your face. I just noticed that was like an axe or something and it's just still alive. So that's what it takes. More than an axe to the head and a few bullets. You alright? Well, I didn't shit my pants. So... You fucking kidding me? Did it reopen or like it got to her? That was scary. This is wood. Just wait there. Give us a minute. That would still be scary as fuck. Um. Can you do that? Like to think for once, maybe we can actually win. Just go and go and watch her. Damn, Tess. But I mean, I don't blame you. I mean, he also has his moments where he's a dick for somewhat no reason. But I guess maybe you do have a reason. Is she still going to be worried that she's going to turn or something? Well, especially now because she has the like, thing on her wrist. Is the vehicle going to work? Or were they just checking it? What is going on? I don't know. Um, so like their shit was supposed to be in there? Jesus. God damn, so someone killed them all. No. One of them got bit. The healthy ones fought the sick ones. Everyone lost. Tess, what are you doing? God damn. Our luck had to run out sooner or later. Fuck. She's infected. How do you know? And you didn't bother to tell us until now? Um... You get her there. You keep her alive. And you set everything right. So you have to leave her behind because she got bitten. Oh wait, those are the ones that are in that place that we saw earlier. And that signaled, yeah, that signaled the ones all the way over there, so now they're coming over here. We're screwed. Well, they have to go. But it's like, she has to go too, because she's not, she's not fully turned yet. This is so ass. So 
so she's gonna go up with them. This is how she's gonna go out. Why does she just let it happen? That's another person gone. Is that it? I swear, I feel so bad for Joel. That is the second person he has lost. Like, I don't want to say third because, yeah, his brother's not there, but apparently he's still alive and he's still looking for him so we're still waiting on that but it's like he already lost his daughter now he lost a loved one basically so it's like this man is going through so much and it's like i swear if him and ellie bond and then she ends up dying too i'm gonna be so pissed like that's that is so emotionally damaging for like anyone like, I swear, and it's like they barely even have a plan now because they were supposed to go, they were at the place that they were supposed to be at and like get their shit, but they were dead. So it's like, now what? The only thing they know is that they have to go like west or something. So they don't even have a specific destination, just west. So it's like, what now? Like, are they eventually gonna like plan to I don't know why they would plan to do this, but it's like, would they plan to go to the center or whatever that um, Ellie came from, like where they were testing the vaccines or whatever, and like do something there? I don't know. Like, I don't, I feel like they would end up back at that center, but like, I don't know why. Like, maybe they meet someone else that gets infected and they just like use the cure. I don't know. Now that has me thinking though since they tested the cure thingy on her and she seems to be fine does that mean that if like she gives a blood transfusion or something that like that can heal someone or like help them i don't know because i think i think that's what happened in maze runner like i know thomas's freaking blood was basically the cure or whatever and like you know him and brenda blood transfusion you know so that's what I was like kind of thinking, like would that work for them in this? Maybe, maybe not, but I'm still just like pissed because that's another loved one of his gone and it's like what now? It's like the man's not going to want to get close to anyone else because he's, he's just going to keep losing people and that's fucking awful. Like I feel bad. I don't really, I don't really know what to expect from here, like, at this point I'm kind of just expecting to, like, meet more people, lose more people, you know, like, we're only in the second episode, and we lost two good characters, but it's like, how many, how many episodes are going to be in this season? Because seasons nowadays are like eight to 10 episodes maybe and I think they already released about like eight episodes but I don't know how many are going to be in the season but I feel like there's a lot more emotional shit to go through and I'm not ready for it but then I also am but I don't know I'm ready to see how these people continue to go through who else they meet and shit so I guess come back for episode three. <laughs>